Hello everyone. Today we'll be learning about maps in the standard template library. We've learned about sets and multiset in the previous tutorial. Now maps are similar to set as they are stored in the form of binary search tree. The difference is that maps are stored in the form of key value pairs sorted by key. So we use this maps for quick sorting as well as indexing and this really comes handy for solving big problems. So let's get into it. You have to include the library map to use it. The map stores it in the form of pairs. All the data is stored in the form of pairs. So first we create a pair. Pair is something which keeps two variables together. So if we create a pair, we create a map to uh, let's say we want to index every character with its ASCII code. So this will loop from A to Z and this is how we access the elements of pair. And now we'll be inserting this pair into our map. So this prepares our map. Let's uh, create an iterator and loop through our map. Iterate our map here. Yeah. Start with m dot begin. We start from m dot begin, which will give us the first value, and we end at m dot end, which will give us the last value. So we loop till there, and uh, we print it out. And this is what is our map. Okay, wait. Silly mistake, typo. Yeah, so here we have the character and its ASCII mapping. Now this map can be used for, uh, let's say, finding. So let's say I want to find, uh, what do I find? I want to find, I want to find J. So I'll store the value in iterator. And then I'll print out. Just for the sake of better understanding, let me write. Let's see. So we got J's value as 106. J is 106. So this is how we can use maps in everyday problems or whenever you're trying to solve any. 
so uh, the thing is uh, we cannot change the key value like we cannot write this first is equal to you cannot change it say j to k you cannot do this because this will then uh, change the structure of the tree in which it is stored in and disrupt the map so that's it for now guys we'll be back with more tutorials and in the next one we'll be doing multi maps so hold on thank you